conduction. So here we see two likely lads toasting some marshmallows on an open fire. One of them has chosen a metal rod to put their marshmallow on the end of. The other one chose a glass rod. Which one of them do you think is going to burn their hands on their rod first? Well, let's wait and see. Oh, there we go. We can see it was the guy with the metal rod. Why do we think that was? Well, actually, it's because metals are much better at conducting than glass. Glass still does conduct, just not as well. Let's zoom in and look at the particles in the glass and see how it conducts. So glass is a typical solid in the way it conducts. The particles by the fire start to gain heat from it and start to vibrate much more vigorously. They then collide with the particles next to them, passing on the energy, and slowly down the rows, each particles vibrate more and more vigorously, passing on heat to the next one through collisions. So it progresses slowly through the glass. This is how conduction happens in most normal solids. And it's why solids are so good at conducting, because the particles are so close together that they collide very often. If you imagine it with a liquid or with a gas, the particles are quite far apart, so they do still conduct, they can still collide, it's just not going to happen very often. Right, now let's look at the metal and see why metals are such amazing conductors. If we look at the metal, we see there's still the same process happening as in the glass. The atoms near the fire are gaining heat and vibrating and colliding with the ones next to it. But there's an extra thing happening inside of metals. There's all these tiny little electrons whizzing around. They're called free delocalized electrons. They can bump into all the ions throughout the metal. So they can gain heat from the hot end and race straight down and bump into an atom at the cold end. Therefore spreading the heat through the metal much, much quicker. This is why metals are so amazing at conducting. So... What's the key information to remember from this? Well, the key bit of information to remember is that conduction is the transfer of heat via particles colliding with each other. Solids are the best at conducting because the particles are so close together. Liquids would be the next best, but they're pretty rubbish, and gases would be awful because the particles are so far apart they don't collide very often. Also, metals are the best of all solids at conducting because they've got free delocalized electrons, which can transfer heat from one end to the other very, very quickly.